Now we're back to taking care of, we got this all laid out. So we got this whole wall laid out. We're gonna come in and start adding our dimensions. I found that it's best to kind of lay stuff out and then add our dimensions in afterwards. So I'm gonna click on this little wall right here. And I'm going to say, oh, all right, I like these dimensions. I just don't like where they're at, but we're going to we're going to move that a little bit. So this witness line for an exterior wall has to go to the exterior of a building. And it's going to go to the center line of an interior wall. And I'm gonna place that so it sticks in there and I'm gonna lock it so we can't move that dimension. Now, sometimes you have some extra dimensions over here and they kind of show up automatically. What we wanna do is click on edit witness line now. So now this is giving me a witness line from here. If I don't like where this is going, I can just click here. If I don't want this one, I could click that and it takes it out but I do want that one in. This was my next wall I did. I haven't done this one yet, but I did do this one. And I wanna to catch to the outside. So again, I have to hit tab, so it catches to the outside. And that is all of my dimensions on one line, nice and clean and neat. So again, Hit dimension, click edit witness line, come to the center, come to the center, come to the center, come to the center, can't or come to the outside edge. When I want to be done, just click off to the side. Now I can see all those little lock buttons. I can lock them all up in one shot. You click this equal button, it's going to move them all so they're all equal all the way across, and that's going to kind of mess you up. So we don't want to deal with that, okay? So that's how we work our dimensions that we're going to keep in place there. So if I take a look at this, if I think about this, these walls are four and a half inches thick, so this should be 20 feet, four and a half inches, and it is four feet, four and a half, five feet, four and a half. So those are all making sense, and we are set up to go now. So now comes our height here. We already set this wall's height. We already set this wall's height. This wall we have to set. So I'm gonna click this wall. Oh no, it comes up with junky witness lines. Good thing we know how to fix those right away. So I'm gonna click move witness line. I'm gonna come here while I'm at it. I'm just gonna hit tab and I'm gonna to go to the outside of my witness line there. And I'm gonna bring this one to the inside of my wall. And I'm gonna look back here, that's a 10 by 12 bedroom. It's a 10 feet by 12 feet, so that's a 12 foot area there. And that's looking pretty good. We already set this wall. We should be good to go here. So we got that stuff all set up now. Coming back across the top here, I have to set this wall here. This wall here comes, that's a 11 foot by 10 foot two. So we've set this wall, now we gotta get our 10 foot two set there. So let's go here. Again, grab that witness line, hit tab, bring my interior dimension out. This one, hit tab, bring my interior dimension. And that says eight foot nine and a half. We're gonna move that wall up 10 feet to enter. Just stretch that wall where we need to go. And that's 11 feet this way. So I'm gonna go here. Hit tab. Hit tab. 11 feet. We're really not sure where this is gonna go at this point. If I look here, 
I can kind of figure it out that it's 10 foot by 10 foot 2 and 10 foot by 12 foot 2. But I'm not sure if this is added in there or not at this point. So we're going to have to do a little bit of design work to use our space as best as possible with putting in our washer and dryer and figuring out how far this has to stick out plus our door. So we're going to leave that wall at this point undimensioned. Okay. But we do know this wall is dimensioned correctly. So I'm going to place this dimension. Drag it out over here. I'm going to go here, edit this witness line, go to the center of that wall, and lock that in place. This one here, go to the center of that wall, locking that in place, and add edit witness line to the outside of this wall. Again, I hit the escape key there and I shouldn't have. Tab to the outside. And click off to the side and lock that in place. So now we got these walls all locked. We don't have this wall in here locked yet, and that's all perfectly fine. We gotta figure out our closet distances and our shapes and all that stuff. We don't have this wall locked. We can get this wall locked in place and this wall is automatically locked from being down here so we know where that is we're going to hit lock edit that witness line hit the tab key edit this witness line bring it to the center and hit the lock and we're getting close to this whole project being done we got to do a little bit of work in this bathroom, laundry room, bathroom, and closet here. This closet we can actually add in. Closets are two feet deep in the inside. So we're going to click on here. Change this witness line to the inside. Change this witness line to the inside. Two feet right on the money. Look at that. So I'm going to hit place. This is one of those spots that... I don't want this dimension, so I'm going to click on the dimension. I'm going to hit edit witness line, and I'm going to get rid of this witness line right here. And now I just got a two foot wall in here. there go there lock that in place got that wall in fireplace we got to figure out the tub and bathroom here we got to figure out for this height of this wall but we're getting close to the end of this when we come back I'm going to show you how to align these grid lines back up